There is a skincare trend going around called slugging. Let's talk about slugging. Slugging. It is the latest trend and it actually doesn't involve a slug. Today we're trying slugging. Apparently I'm supposed to smear Vaseline all over my face. And it's called slugging because it makes your skin feel pretty slimy. So I wanted to talk about it because it's something that I don't really think you should do every single night. to point out is that slugging is not a new technique or a new trend I guess it's something that women have been doing for a very long time for as long as Vaseline has been around that's for sure but the term slugging is a new term and I think that's what makes it so catchy but I can guarantee this is not a trend that just started this is something that women have been doing for a very long time to just protect their skin give them that extra moisture lock in all of that hydration it's basically the OG anti-aging cream if you really think about it it's the thing that women have put on their face to really just lock it all in. And it's usually much older women that are doing this because as we get older, we start to get drier skin. So this is a great way to just lock in all that moisture for your skin. The other people who have been using petroleum jelly and been slugging for a very long time are moms. When you become a parent, one of the first things that you buy is Aquaphor. And this is my Aquaphor. This is Aquaphor Baby. It's the same exact thing as regular Aquaphor. But you can see like this is a well-loved and well used tube of aquaphor. We always get this huge size because this is something that you use all the time because petroleum jelly is great to protect your skin. So for babies, if they get any rash, it's due to the moist skin that they get. So for a rash around their mouth or their neck, that might be from slobbering. So you're trying to protect them from the moisture that they get from the slobbering. Or on their bottoms, if they're sitting in a diaper, you wanna protect the, their skin from the dampness down there too, because that can really irritate their skin. And you've heard of diaper rashes. This is one of the things that you use to protect it. And that's the reason to use petroleum jelly. It's the most effective, occlusive ingredient that I know of. I think that dermatologists know of, so I don't think there's anything better than petroleum jelly. It's not fancy, it is refined, it's cosmetic grade, it is nice for your skin, it's not bad for you or toxic or anything like that. There is no other ingredient like petroleum jelly, and that is why dermatologists love it so much. It forms an occlusive seal on your skin. So it's protecting your skin, and then it's also locking in any Thing underneath it. But should you be using this on your face every single night? I decided to talk to a couple of my dermatologist friends because I know dermatologists love petroleum jelly, petrolatum. They recommend it probably for anything, whether you're trying to heal a cut, a rash, a burn, and then maybe even for your face when it's necessary. So I decided to talk to Dr. Elise Love. She's a board certified dermatologist in New York City and also board certified dermatologist, Dr. Annie Chu, who is in Los Angeles. She's actually in Redondo Beach. And she is also one of the dermatologists that we feature sometimes on our Dermatologist Reacts videos. I wanted to get their thoughts on the trend of slugging and also just kind of like reconfirm the things that we've known in the past. There's a reason why people weren't talking about slugging just a couple of years ago. So let's get into it. The first thing is that skincare grade petrolatum or petroleum jelly is actually non-comedogenic. So on its own, it does not clog your pores, but you have to keep in mind, it's really occlusive. And when it's occlusive, that means it traps everything underneath it. That that can be dead skin cells, bacteria, sweat, anything that's going to exacerbate or cause clogged pores or acne, it can make it even worse. That means if you have oily skin or you are acne prone, you should definitely avoid slugging, especially if you have active acne. If you are adamant about trying it, Dr. Love suggests that you do a little spot test just to make sure your skin can handle it. The other people that she recommends not trying slugging are people who get really sweaty at night. We all sweat at night, but if you sweat a lot at night, then you definitely don't want to slug or put petroleum jelly on your face because it can trap all of that sweat underneath and then cause mini breakouts and there's actually a name for it. Also, people who have fungal acne, you definitely don't want something this occlusive because that's just going to exacerbate it. That said, there are times where you want to slather your face in petrolatum and slug. I still don't even know how we would say that. Slug your face? There are definitely times for it. First off, if you have really dry skin, then you're a candidate for it. You can probably put anything on your face. You can probably even put coconut oil on your face and it's totally fine. All those people that we see in the comments of my videos being like, I use coconut oil, my skin is great. 
maybe this is something that you should look into. You might really like slugging. And that just goes back to it being really occlusive. It's going to trap in any hydration on your skin. It's going to help moisturize your skin if you have the proper products. For instance, my favorite is this one from CeraVe, and that's because it has ceramides in it. It has some hyaluronic acid in it. So you're getting the extra hydration and the ceramides. So it's healing your skin, and it's also using the petrolatum to really just be occlusive and lock in everything that you're using. If you're using the right products like this, or if you're using something like Aquaphor, it has glycerin, which is a humectant. It also has panthenol, which strengthens your skin. These are superior, in my opinion, to say Vaseline, though Vaseline has its purposes too. If you are experiencing really dry, dehydrated skin, you might also have a damaged skin barrier, or you might have a damaged skin barrier from some sort of reaction or a rash, or even some kind of a treatment that you get. And then you would want to use this on top to protect your skin and to heal it. Another reason why you might be interested in this is after an intense treatment. For instance, after I get a treatment like microneedling, this is how I care for my skin for at least the first two days. My trick is to put a couple drops of squalene oil and then to just slather this on the CeraVe healing ointment because again, it's healing, it's reparative, and it's going to just be that protective barrier for my skin. If you think about it, it's similar to the reason why you might want to use something like Vaseline petrolatum over some type of injury, for instance. If you have a cut, if you have a rash, when my kids are like walking, they get a little rug burn or something like that from falling. This is the kind of product that I would put on that to protect their skin and to help with the natural healing of the skin underneath. It's also, again, because it's a protective barrier on your skin, you might want to use it during the winter time to protect your skin. So if you've ever gone like skiing or you've gone hiking on a really windy, cold day, you've gotten like windburn, right? That chapped feeling on your face. You need an occlusive barrier and there is nothing that is better than petrolatum. It is the most occlusive and it will protect your skin from that wind chapping and the dryness that you get from it and that sting that you get from it. This is the ingredient that you wanna put on your face. And that goes for the body. You know, there are definitely times where we get calluses or really rough patches on our elbows or on our knees or just from some sort of a rash, maybe you're getting that like crustiness, you know, from the healing process of it. Then you wanna use it on your body on those areas because it's just gonna help, again, protect, hyper-moisturize it, and also just help with that skin reparative function that it already has. Keeping all of that in mind, you can use it on your lips as a balm. I know there are people that will try this trend and there are some people who are going to love to put petrolatum all over their faces. You might've seen V for instance on TikTok. She loves applying CeraVe healing ointment on her face. She's glowing, she's got beautiful skin and it obviously works for her. So I'm gonna share some tips for you if you give it a try. Tip number one is to not apply anything comedogenic underneath the layer of petrolatum. So whether you're using Aquaphor, Vaseline, or CeraVe healing ointment, or any other type of product like it, you wanna be careful about applying anything that's comedogenic underneath your skin. Like I was saying, it will clog your pores. It's occlusive when you put petrolatum on your skin, so it's gonna lock in anything that is underneath it, and that means that anything that's comedogenic can definitely lead to acne, even cystic acne. And also keep Keep in mind that any ingredients that you're applying, even if they are non-comedogenic, it can actually increase the chances of them becoming comedogenic underneath that occlusive layer. That said, you also want to make sure you properly cleanse your face. Any leftover makeup on your skin can clog your pores even more when you have petrolatum on top of it. That includes any bacteria. Anything that you have on your skin, you want to make sure it's super clean because it's going to get trapped in by the occlusive layer. Another reason to keep that in mind is when you are using any actives, so your BHAs, your AHAs, your retinoids, any of those active ingredients can be even more irritating to the skin when you have a thick occlusive layer like petrolatum over your skin because it just increases the strength of them essentially. It's locking all of that in and they really go to work. This is why we use moisturizers because we're locking everything in and that includes our actives and our hydration. So so that's definitely something you want to keep in mind is if you are just starting out on some kind of an active, you definitely don't want to use it underneath your slugging layer. This also goes for if you are sensitive 
to any of those types of ingredients. You definitely don't wanna pair up this type of a treatment because it can just make it even stronger. And I think the last thing that's really important to keep in mind is you are locking in hydration, not getting that hydration from this occlusive layer. So you wanna make sure that you're using something that's hydrating underneath your skin. That can be a hyaluronic acid serum, that can be some type of an essence. So any of these hydrating products that you're using, you're going to lock all of those benefits in with this occlusive layer. So that is my breakdown of slugging. A really big thank you to Dr. Chu and to Dr. Love for helping me out on this video and for the laughs that I got when we were talking about this because this is something that, you know, I think dermatologists I know love petrolatum. It is basically an ingredient that can't be beat. There's nothing else like it. But when they see trends like this where people are just going too much, I think that I think that's the thing. It's like it's too much. There are much more elegant products out there. There are people who just don't need to do this kind of a trend. Just because there's a trend or a new product, even when I put out a new product, it doesn't mean that you specifically need it. You have to remember that skincare is so personal and you just need to make sure that your skin needs it or will benefit from what whatever it is that you're doing to it. So keep that in mind. Skincare is very, very personal and not every trend pertains to you. I'll leave links below to both Dr. Love and to Dr. Chu so you can find them if you're interested. They both post really interesting information on their Instagram accounts. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.